Hey Pooh, what's going on? Oh my God, I had voice control on my iPhone, so when I was speaking, it was typing out everything I was saying. I was like, why is my phone bugging out, child? Um, we are back, and we're back in the beauty room. It's a bit messy, child. What, what, what's that back there? What, what's, what's that, what's that? That's my jewelry box. Anyway, um, I do love filming in my living room, kind of love it, but I feel like that might have to be for, it'd be quite good for sipping slays, and I think it would be good for like, more of a sit down, but my makeup is all in here. So for me to make all my makeup, I'm like, child, child, child. So I've already done the eyes, and you guys will probably want to know what's on my eyes already. And this is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. If you want me to do another look with this, let me know. But the palette's cute. She's cute, but you know, we have to wait till October, see what's going on there. Oh my. Yeah, we're gonna do this like, we're not, I wanna call, I'm not gonna call it like a new makeup video because everything's gonna be fairly new, I think. Not everything, but let's just call it, Let's, I'm not sure what we're going to call it, but we're going to speak about everything that's going on in the world today, child. Topics, what's going on from hot gas to Real Housewives of Atlanta. So if you want to like get a cup of tea, sit down, chill with me, keep on watching. <laughs> So, I, I was really feeling myself a minute ago. I was listening to, what's that Destiny's Child song called? Now that she's gone, she'll never come back, leave alone. If I could sing, yeah, if I could really sing, it would be over for a lot of these hoes. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. If I could sing, anyway, I'm gonna put a special primer on. She's just, oh. Honestly, when this gets released, and uh, you guys see who it's by, Gagging, gagging, I tell you. Anyway, you want to play games? For foundation and stuff, um, I'm gonna just let you guys know what I'll be using just so I have to keep repeating myself in the video, but if you guys wanna know what I'm using, everything will be linked. Linked, I tell you. I linked down below. So I'm gonna mix, I actually got this today. I remember this foundation, I used to love it. It's by Laure Mercier. It is the, why is this not focusing? I've been mixing this with a special primer. And I love it. I just really, really love the Fenty one. It's really good for oil control, but... Oh, you know, you speak about Fenty sometimes, the girls be dragging you. Sometimes I do think the colours do run very, very warm, like very, very red. I don't know, maybe it does change. To be honest though, I've never actually, like... I'm still very, um, it's like this, so I'm very congested. So if I sound very, like, nasally, don't, don't mind my voice. Anyway, um, I'm going to mix it with the, um, uh, Laure Mercier. Because, oh, this is quite runny. Oh my god, I didn't I do not remember it being this runny, child. But um yeah, I'm gonna mix it with that because I just don't want it to be too matte for me. So oh this is actually very runny. Let's call it that. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so, um the fence is a bit warm, but anyway, can we believe Rihanna is doing the Super Bowl? Um how are you guys been anyway? Let me guys know in the comments where you what what where are you from? What's going on if you're new to the channel and what's been popping off? Are you guys ready for Christmas? Guys, I'm not even ready for Halloween. Like, first of all, I want to speak about Halloween because I, I just want to know, like, do people like still come on like YouTube to search for Halloween looks? I think that's more of like a TikTok thing because when the girl is really like going out and all like they used to. I think like pre-COVID, the girls were really going in getting prosthetics, which they probably still are, but I've never been that kind of person to like go be up and beyond, which is a bit bad because like makeup's the only one true time where you can actually do a madness of Halloween and not like be looked mad at. Also, foundation's actually quite dark. I look kind of chic. But um, you let me guys know what you're doing for Halloween. Like, are you going out? You're going to a party? What's going on? Also, I can't release any details right now. But if you are in the UK and um you live in London, I'm actually well. If you live anywhere in the UK and can travel, I'm doing a masterclass. I can't say who with yet. But it's it's with it's with a really big retailer. When I say big. Like, they ship internationally. You know who they, like, like, if you were to think of two retailers in the UK, like London, there's only two of those girls that are that girl. And it's one of them. So I'll be doing a masterclass with them, which I'm super excited for. And it's gonna be on the 30th, which is on the Sunday, I believe. What day is it? The 30th of October. Let me check, let me check, let me check, baby. I'm F-R-E-E, -E. hold up, stop the beat. I'm a mother. City girl ain't shit free about me. What the hell was that? <laughs> what was that? Oh, yeah, it's on a Sunday. So, if you're free on Sunday and ready to pop black and drop it, you can meet me. Like, we can, like, you know, do a little something, something. There'll be goodie bags. Like, it's gonna be a proper sit down shindig. Like, let me guys know. I think it'll be hella, hella cute. Okay, so for concealer, let me go up a bit. Child, I'm gonna go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy, but yeah, um, as I was saying, I don't think I'm ready for like Halloween or any of those kind of activities. 
everyone's releasing advent calendars early. I'm not ready for Christmas. I feel like Christmas for me is like really, oh guys, it's so bad. Like I haven't actually been home since Christmas, which is so bad. How bad is that? I actually need to go home like next month, 100%. Like, um, I'm actually going to Paris on Thursday um, or Friday. And um, I was gonna ask you guys want me to vlog like this week and like going to Paris or would you want a separate vlog? Let me know. Why am I doing this like it's a highlight and concealer? It's actually not, it's my skin tone. But you're going to Paris for Fashion Week. I'm going with Tasha, so that should be hella exciting. Where's this beauty blender? Oh, there it is. But yeah, I haven't been in Paris for ages and I'm not sure how Paris moved because I know they were one of the strictest people for like, you know, um, sea restrictions, like, and um, I'm not sure what is going on with them. Also, I'm wearing a hat because I need my fibers doing again and I'm gonna get them done tomorrow. So, you know what's harder? When you have your hair done a certain way, you don't have it anymore. You actually feel like not yourself and that's how I feel. I'm gonna use this new Bobbi Brown concealer. I've never used this. Bobbi Brown, I'm not sure what's going on with the brands. Um, they're releasing stuff quite erratically. Like, I'm not sure, like, I'm just not sure what's going on with the brand. I do like the brand, but let's see what this concealer is saying. This is the full skin full coverage concealer. I'm not sure, oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay, Bobby. Wow, this feels nice. This is in the shade Almond, which I, one thing I love about Bobby, the shades are very, 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 very much yellow, like very golden, which I love. It's because she's always been there. Well, the company's always been there. Well, her herself has always been there for, you know, the deeper tongue, tongue girlies. So I started blowing out the concealer and it wasn't even recording. Bobby, what is going on? Is Bobby really coming for the girl? This concealer is so nice. I'm actually shocked. I'm shocked because I don't use a lot of Bobby Brown products like that. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I can't remember the last time I used a Bobby Brown product. Like, I really, really did snatch my hair transplant. Like, sorry, so I legit had to take a call, yeah? And this side, I've left it on for at least two minutes to dry down. This concealer dries down like oh my god so i'm gonna stop going about that concealer but um guys are you guys watching real housewives of atlanta so when i was sick i wasn't even sick actually i think the week before last actually i did feel a bit sick but i was a bit run down i didn't have tonsillitis though i decided to watch real housewives of atlanta because i wanted i wanted to get like into it i haven't watched the season before so i didn't really know who drew was drew i think needs to leave the show um sandy what's her name sanya sanya sana i'm not sure what her name was but she needs to go as well i feel like Real House of Atlanta was just such an amazing franchise. Like, I don't really watch Potomac. Well, as I don't know. Like, I feel like there's too much franchises to really get into. Well, this is dried down a lot, so I'm going to use a blender. And um, I just feel like Housewives was the original one. And I just feel like it's gotten so boring. Like, I get it. Okay, Marlo's a housewife. I think Marlo is very much... I do like Marlo. I'm not going to lie. I love her fashion. I love her as a person. But... I think she was trying too hard to prove herself on the show at first. Like, I think on the show, you definitely have to bring drama. If you're not bringing drama and you're real nice, you'll end up like, mm, Claudia, how many seasons did Claudia have? Or what was the other one that was a dancer? And she was quite mature. I can't remember what her name was, but she was on it for like one season. I feel like if you don't bring the drama, you don't really get come back for another season. So Drew must be somewhat good because she's been on it for a few seasons, but I don't know, I just felt like when I was watching it, it was very, it was an easy watch, like, too, almost too easy, like, I felt like I wasn't watching a reality TV show, I felt like I was watching, like, I don't know, something like, I don't know, like, EastEnders, or like, um, 9021 or Beverly Hills, I felt like it was too perfect. I saw in the shade room today that they're actually petitioning for Portia and Nini to come back, I'm not sure if I can see Nini coming back just because of all the drama, she, not drama, but like, wasn't she too... <laughs> Wasn't she saying bravo but at one point of Andy Cohen like girl you can't see the hand that feeds you I really want to make this eye under eye brighter. I need this concealer in other colours. I actually really like it Oh my god, I'm gonna, I might leave it like this though Because but I do want a bad bitch bright under eye. I don't know Oh, she had a bit of top She had a tiny bit of top for contour. I'm gonna use this Westman Atelier stick in XV I feel like this may not be dark. Oh Oh, it's dark enough. This is so nice. I really love her products. I really want to do like a full face of her because 
she has been killing it like i used her new tinted moisturizer the other day banging banging it's so good um i just feel like a lot of people like especially like brown folk like black folk we don't really know too much about her because when she first came out she didn't really do dark shades and i feel like when you release a brand if you don't give us the shades immediately we don't care we just don't care like no absolutely not no like no some brands yeah like okay you might get a pass like if the products are really snatching and like if you haven't released dark shades like i feel like people will just like kind of mute you out and i think that's what's going to happen with her but like she's really created some amazing products and like the tones are actually really nice like not too warm not too red Oh, this is actually a really nice... Oh, I'm really liking how everything's really going. Like, everything's going very, very stunningly. My face looks absolutely delicious. It looks so yummy. Oh, like, why is it when I've got nowhere to go? No man to see. Like, my base is popping. But when I want to go out now and I spend two hours, the base is amazing. But I do think it might be the foundation. Because it's quite... Oh, it's quite luminous. Anyway... Look what I've got, Rem Beauty. Y'all, I've, I've never tried anything from this brand, nothing. Like, and they sent me some stuff today. I really want to try the concealer, but the reviews I'm hearing, oh, ciao, anyway. Um, this is the blush, and I'm not gonna put it straight onto my face because, let me test. Oh, this is nice. Oh, that looks juicy. I'm gonna have to use a brush for this though, because child, one thing about me. Um, should I use a beauty blender? Let me just use a beauty blender. Oh, bitch. Oh my God, this is, this is a game changer. You know, sometimes you just wish you created a product like this. Like, I know it's simple, but like it's such, like there's not enough orange blushes out there. I would actually love to create a blush line. Like maybe not a blush line, but a range of blushes for deeper skin tones because like, I just feel like people just don't get deeper skin tone blushes, right? Like we don't want deep berries and mauves. We want oranges, we want, we want pinks that are gonna complement our skin tones, you know? Like we don't, wanna look, we don't wanna look like we've been slapped in the face. Like this is gorgeous. Oh, it almost looks like a brand. This is absolutely, oh. I'm gonna have to call someone up and be like, yo, where you at? Where you at? Because, no, this is, I'm gonna have to add more because this is lovely. I still got, I still got so much to speak about, but like I keep getting distracted because all the products are amazing. Wait, should I use this makeup forever one? I'm gonna use this makeup forever powder. You guys know the drill in five, four, five. And this is the velvet matte powder. So good. Like, even with this, with this concealer, I, I'm gonna have to get other colors in this Bobbi Brown concealer because it's sensational. Like, I'm actually shocked at how good this concealer is. Oh, I'm gonna give it another test tomorrow though. I'm gonna let you guys know in the vlog. But I also wanted to speak about, what was I speaking about? Oh, let me check my notes. Okay, so this is video going viral. I'm gonna put it in here. You've probably seen it, it's called, I didn't, <laughs> Period. Ah, Brit Barbie. Her name is Brit Barbie. I'll say, I'm not sure what her name is, but it's this girl. She's from America, and she does that thing. It goes period. Ah, period. Uh, period. Ah, period. Uh. And I remember seeing it, and I, I first saw it on TikTok, and I thought, is this girl actually okay? Like, is she absolutely okay? And then um, it quickly became like a big, big thing. It's been on a breath because I'm a bit of a breath and I became a thing. Um. I think she got reposted by a few pages. Then, um, I can't remember what those rappers are. There were two rappers, I can't remember what their names are now. Dreezy, I'm not sure what her name is, but they remix a song in the shade room. And everyone was like, okay, okay. Like the girl isn't a good rapper guys. Like all she's saying is period ah, period uh. It's giving very much culture vulture. Like I, like I hate this, but it very much is giving that. Like I've seen other TikToks and she, she like, you know, she speaks like, you know, like that. And like, she's obviously like a white girl, which there's nothing wrong with that, but like, I was, oh, child, you know what I mean? Like, the, obviously I know there's some people that, you know, grow up in certain areas and they do speak like that, but when your lingo isn't matching 
every single video. It's a cause of concern, sweetheart. Anyway, but she did this song, it blew up. It's not even a song, it's her, it's her just singing it on a beat. Her name is Brit Barbie. But for some reason, it just feels a bit staged to me because I don't know what's going on. But anyway, Chloe Bailey jumped on the track and guys, I didn't even, really, you know Chloe, I, didn't even, I knew Chloe could sing, but Chloe jumped on the beat and she sounded amazing. And I just thought, imagine Chloe Bailey, you've got all these other rappers jumping on this beat for this one girl who sang period ah, period uh, and you've got these amazing people that are truly talented and you have given this girl, just off TikTok, a feature and these artists, Chloe Bailey probably charges so much money to even feature and you've given this girl so much clout and like it kind of was the same with Bad, what's her name, Bad Barbie, what's her name, Bad Barbie where people gave her this clout because she was on that show with the doctor on Dr. Phil, Dr. whatever his name is because she was disrespecting her mum and then obviously, obviously everyone kind of fed into her she became super famous and now this is a whole she bought her house in cash guys, in cash because she kind of like climbed up off the culture and I just feel like if people put, put that same energy into their own people people would be winning but I feel like people don't like Oh, it's really hard. It's a really hard topic. People don't like black people or anyone when they're being themselves, you know, on the beat. But when it's someone else of a different race, people want to be like, oh my God, like, you know, she she killed it. She's on the beat, period. Okay, period, poo. It's just the math ain't mathing. Do you, get what, do you get what I'm trying to say? I just feel like when it's someone else that's not us or our own color, people kind of like hype it up more when it should be the other way around, child. Yeah, but that, I feel like that rant could go on for ages anyway, but oh my God. Oh my God, have you guys watched that document documentary on um, Netflix about Jeffrey the Damon? I don't know what his name is, but child, I don't want to say his name. Oh, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Um, I started watching it on Saturday and oh, child, it was very hard to watch. I'm gonna use this bronzer by Nas. Um, this is old, this came up with the orgasm collection, the summer one. I actually have never used this, even though I got it, I feel like I got it and forgot where I put it and I only found it today. So let's see this bronzer. It's nice, it's actually nice, it's very natural. Oh, I like the mirror though. But anyway, yeah, um, the series is about, it's actually quite dark actually, I'm not sure if you get, it kind of triggered me, so I've already got into past like, um, I've already got into episode four. It's about a guy that basically lures black men or kind of men that are gay men and he basically like, puts things in their drink to do stuff to them and it ends up killing them and then he eats them, some of them, he like, I don't know, it's a very sick documentary. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish it because I don't know if I could handle something like that. Um, I definitely think it's a good documentary and the guy that plays him is amazing but I've been seeing all the videos of like people being like, oh my God, like imagine that happening to me but without the, um, about the murder and I was like why are you sexualizing such a tragic thing are you actually okay do, 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 do you need to see someone sweetheart like because something ain't right there but it's it's it's, 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 it's it's a good documentary but I just don't know if I can give my time to such madness it's honestly madness guys I do like this blush I do like this bronze I'm not sure it's very warm but I do like it I think it's very subtle for Narf like I've got another one Karimba and it's more pigmented. I like this blush, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it today because we've got a lot on our eyes. I said I didn't have an orange blush. This is how you know. I lied. Patrick Star, this is in the shade um, Firestarter. This is with the perfect blush. Let me go and know if you've watched a documentary. I also wanna watch some new things. You know, I would, you know what I would love to watch? Great, Grey's Anatomy. I'd love to be able to watch it, but that's got about 18 seasons. I can't do it. No, there's no way. Like, even with like, people love Game of Thrones, like Game of Thrones, like, would love to be able to watch that, I just, no, there's no way. Like, I think sometimes you just have to admit to yourself in life that you just, there's some certain things that you missed the train for. <laughs> there's a certain things you missed the train for, child, and that is one of them. I, uh, there's one thing I do wanna watch though that I haven't watched yet. You guys are probably gonna drag me in the comments. I've never watched Breaking Bad. And I wanna watch that, but I just don't know if it's a time again. This, oh. I love orange blush, like. So Charlotte Tilbury actually has a new bright. Oh, I'm actually got so much new products, guys. This is a new brightening powder by Charlotte Tilbury. This is called the Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Complexion. Oh no, child. But this is so flipping nice. 
like it just adds like it's not too much like it's not too intense like the dragon beauty one but i feel like it just adds like a nice brightness if you don't want anything too mad Ooh. I, I do think she needs to release this in like a few more shades though because if you are a bit darker than me it's gonna end up looking very very mad child i never put black i hate i don't hate it i don't know, I should what well, i should why actually but I never do black, and I feel like black is quite sexy. But I feel like black eyeliner on me looks so awful. But I thought, let me just try something different because sometimes I really think it would be giving the girls the same thing, you know? I'm not gonna lie, black is very striking though. It's like, it's about a topic when I get to their lips, and I think you guys know what I'm gonna speak about. Um, I did a black liner. I, I, you know why I don't wear black eyeliner? It's because I wear contact lenses, and if you guys don't know, my contact lenses help me see. And a lot of these black eyeliners, like mostly all of them, they because they're so matte and drying, they crumble into little pieces and they get attached to the contact lenses and they irritate my eye. And I have to be so careful black eyeliners because I've had this before when I went on holiday and I only had one contact lens and they literally, you can't get them off unless you basically rip the lens, it's so annoying. But just be careful sometimes getting eyeliners that do that. But you have to get coals, but coals don't last that long, but I'm not gonna lie, the look is very much giving. So I'm gonna add a little, setting spray i'm gonna add the morphe one because i'm not leaving my house today so i don't want i don't want to wear anything that's going to be too um intense and i love this morphe one because it just melts the powders down really nicely i haven't done this in so long but I've, highlight is coming back girls highlight is coming back i'm just gonna add some highlight onto the cheeks Ooh! and then what i normally do with highlight again and then i will then use a setting spray just to kind of melt it into the skin because if your base is like quite matte you want to melt it down so i need a lip liner so i've actually been using a fenty concealer to do my lip liner um a lot of people think i'm crazy for doing this but i just love the way a lip liner use, like looks when i use concealer and we need to speak about the brownie lip trend child Oh child, um, if you guys aren't on TikTok, I know some of you guys aren't, but if you guys are not, join TikTok guys. Like it's not just for young kids and like people that do the nay nay and do the renegade, you know, like a lot of millennials, 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 I can't say it, millennials are on TikTok and it's actually so funny on there. Like there's this girl, well not this girl, I was talking about, I'm thinking about Brit Barbie, but Hailey Bieber, did this like lip recently. Ooh. So yeah, Hailey Bieber did this trend and, and you know, she had the trend for the nails. It was called like glazed nails, like, you know, the donut nails. Never tried it. It's like basically sparkly nails. And then um, it came to, um, she'd used a dark lip liner. It was almost like giving chestnut vibes, maybe like cork vibes, but different. It, she used a pencil by Scott Barnes, which was called Naomi, which she named after Naomi Campbell. And um, she then put on, uh, was it a lipstick? Maybe it was her, she put a lot, it's like me putting this liner on and putting a gloss on top. She might have put a, like a pinky gloss on or a brownie gloss. Like I think she has a, a gloss in her own line called Road. It became this thing, she called it a brownie glazed lip. And I, you know, I love Hayley Bieber. I think she's beautiful, she dresses really nice. Have nothing against her and I don't think it was her fault, but I maybe think, I think she kind of, carried on a name from the glazed donut nails and probably thought let's call this glazed brownie nails but this is how i know someone on her team is not black because like if i was on her team my black babe you can't call it that let's call it a 90s lip because you can't make a trend of something that is has already been done by like black latina indian and all people of color like we've been wearing brown lip liner not even me my mom my sister everyone i wasn't wearing lip liner back then like because we couldn't find lip liners in the stores to match us, we would use eyeliners, like black lip liners, eyebrow pencils, everything. So she's kind of being dragged right now for starting this brownie glazed lip trend. It's very, very confused. I do think it will pass, but I think sometimes things need to be addressed. Like not everything that's created on TikTok is a new trend. It's very, very mad. Okay, speaking of lips, I'm gonna do my ultimate lip. I have found the ultimate nude lip after a special one, of course. But this is my ultimate liquid lip. And this is a new one from Makeup Forever. This is one of their new ones. And honestly, um, they sent me this on the weekend and I could I could tell by what colors I was gonna like. This one is called 192 Toffee at All Hours. When I hear toffee in a lip color, 
I know it's gonna intertwine and like I'm just not gonna love it. So um, I'm gonna put this on here like this. Look at the shade. So this shade reminds me of Morphe True Story. Like it's kind of a bit lighter than True Story and the formula is insane. Then instead of like, like blending out my fingers, I'm taking a brush because I feel like it gives like the perfect ombre with the liquid and you can really blend it up to the border. This is my new way of doing lipstick, I just love it. Obviously, it's not practical for like when you're out and about, but it is so, like look. Is this not, oh. I know this looks like every other lip I do, but this just to me is perfection. Like this to me is a, like one of the most perfect nude lips. You can leave it like this. I want to make it a tiny bit lighter. And I just do four dots. They actually have a lot of other shades, which I do have, but I love this shade. This is my braggy glaze lip, but hers, you add a gloss on top. I'm not gonna add a glass, a gloss on mine because I feel like there's a lot going on on my face. Like I've got shimmer here, I've got highlighter here. I've just, there's just a lot going on. So I think I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave it like quite like, neutral-ish. I like it quite matte. I just want it to have like quite a contrast because I'm actually getting quite shiny as well because it's hot in this room. This is the finished look guys. What do you think? I think the skin looks very radiant. I can see the glow coming out in the foundation. I really liked everything. I think the standout product for me was this Bobbi Brown concealer. Like I love this concealer. I just love the way it looks. Like my under eyes look amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Like they look so good. Another product I loved was, what else I love? I love the Rem Beauty blusher, where is that? I love this blusher. This is just so nice. Like I think the texture of it, and you can still see it peeping through like over here and stuff. Like I just love it. I do like the ABH palette. Like I think it's a really nice palette, but I just feel like with this kind of palette, like you could, I could achieve this look with like, you know, things that are coming, like coming out and like, like, you know, like it's like the colors aren't new. I think the palette's beautiful. But I just feel like, I don't know, like, I don't, I do, I do like it though. The shimmers are nice. I can't lie. The shimmers are really beautiful. Like, they look really, really stunning. I just, I just like my makeup. I think it looks really nice. I just think it's very, it's very dramatic in a nice way. I feel like I haven't done makeup like, like this for a while. Like, strong eye, lip, beat skin. I do miss makeup like this. Like, I love a skin tint and I love, you know, having like quite like a dewy look sometimes. But sometimes you just want to beat your fucking face. You know, like, purr. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm not sure where the next super is gonna be child. Um, after I come out from Paris, it's a very, very hectic schedule. But one thing I will say is there'll be a lot of videos rolling out, like a lot, a lot of videos. Um, I'm gonna be filming a lot of like, you know, things coming up. I'm really excited I can finally release the videos now because, whew, child. Um, but I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this video is so long, I just love, I love chatting and doing makeup. It kind of relaxes me and makes me forget about things that are going on in the world. But um, I love you guys so much. And I shall see you for my next video on Sunday. I'll be in Paris. So if not, it'll be up on Monday. Like, you know, we'll, 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 we'll see each other. We'll see each other. Bye, guys.